Wub wub, this is my intro. Wub wub. Ooh, welcome back, Guardians, to a Destiny 2 video. Cross Destiny video. Before I get into it, though, sellout moment. Hit the subscribe button. Become part of the Snowman Army. Hit the little bell. Become part of the notification squad. Hit the like button and share it with as many people as you can so I get more views and growth. And leave some comments telling me what you think about this idea or ideas because this is three things. And by three, I mean three. 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 Not free as in it doesn't cost anything. Three. three. I can't say it. I can't do it. Three things in Destiny that I don't want to see return in Destiny 2. Now, these things are just my opinions and my ideas. If people like and want these things in the game, I would not be mad about that. You guys are entitled to feel enjoyment in things that I don't. But I do want to share my opinion on the following things that I don't want to see return to this too. And first and foremost, isn't a big one. It's not a massive one. It's just a little one. And that is useless vendors. Now by useless, I mean, not completely useless. They have no use whatsoever. Useless after time. If you look when you go into the tower after like the first six months of destiny, a lot of the vendors you just didn't use or do anything with apart from to go to pick up packages. And I'm talking like shacks. You went there to get bounties. He had some things that he sold, but did you really ever buy any of them? Same with the Vanguard guys. Did you really buy anything off them? The speaker, did you go and buy anything off him? Because I don't remember the last time I went to the speaker. I think the only time I've ever bought from something from the speaker is when I was still in blue armor and needed a blue ghost. You don't need to get rid of these characters. Just make their interactions with them something other than them just being a shop that you never use. And over time, other places are going to get the same way. Look at Eva Levante and all the, sh the emblems and shaders that she had once you got what you got you never went back so you know they became just a pointless addition to the game they were just standing around not really doing much and i don't want that to be a thing now what you could do is make their inventories change dramatically different over time so that you have a reason to go and visit them and look for things the factions did this well with different perks and weapons every single week and the quartermasters of course but these actual useless vendors and shops that were there were changing or whatever or didn't change and they just became useless additions to the game and didn't really push the game forward so if you don't bring them back or you do bring them back i want to see changes in how you interact with them and reasons to go to them other than just story mode or just to pick up packages i want a reason to go to them look through their inventory and buy some stuff secondly and this one is i guess controversial maybe i don't want modes of light to return and i'll tell you why Modes of light, while they were useful for leveling up weapons and not really leveling up armor because it took way too long, it became more about getting a weapon and then just leveling it up to the max instead of enjoying that progression while you're using the weapon. I want to see a new system put in place where when you're using the weapon and killing the weapon, you gain your perks and growth of your weapon, progression of your weapon a lot faster than we have seen in Destiny. I would even like to see something dramatic like having quote unquote light level attached to your weapons and armors where if you use them more, it raises the light level up. So not only are you getting progression through your perks, the more often you use it, the higher the light level becomes until you hit a max light level on it. That would make me feel, you know, satisfied and like i have worked to get to where i am at instead of just spamming modes of light and getting the the best weapon with all the perks and it's already at the highest light level because of infusion now how long would i like to take for these weapons to get to max light level and max perks well let's just put it this way about 10 times faster than previously if you didn't use modes of light have it you know somewhat where you can do it in a day you could go to crucible you could go into pve and you can level up a max perks gun in half a day to a day for the light level maybe like a week and then you've got a max light level weapon and then it gives you a reason to you know use other weapons and try to get those up it it, it instills this feeling of wanting to progress wanting to level up because it's a challenge it's not just like oh get a weapon and instantly get it to 400 and then use most of like to instantly get all the perks while that's good and useful and everyone loves it even me i would like to see something just a little bit different where we have to earn our perks and earn our light level but you know that's just my opinion and idea and third and lastly my biggest thing that i don't want to see return and you guys should know the answer to this already with my past about this item in the game and that is free of coins so 
Free of Coins allows you to get exotic engram drops from ultras across the board, across Destiny. And I feel like with the chance to get so many exotic engram drops, exotics became less exotic than they should be. I remember year one where I didn't get a Gatterhorn for so long. And even though it was frustrating and negative, when I finally got that weapon, I was elated and ecstatic. And it wasn't something that I just put down after one use. I wanted to use it more because it took so much time and so much challenge to actually get that weapon. So I wanted to use it and use it and use it to get my worth out of it. Weapons nowadays in terms of exotics, apart from maybe the Zalo Supercell, after I use it once or use it specifically for a raid, I never use it for anything else again because it doesn't mean anything to me. There's no connection to that weapon because I didn't have to fight for it. I didn't have to earn it. All I did was just press a button and held the button to get three of coins activated and then got an exotic engram drop now i never want it to be as hard and as challenging to get exotics as it was in year one of destiny so i would still leave exotic engram drops in the game and i would have it drop from any enemy in the world ever ever but have it as a very small percentage of a chance of an exotic engram actually dropping and i'm speaking like an exotic engram once every three weeks I'm talking about on that scale because then you're still getting the chance to get new exotics and it's a little bit easier to get than, you know, waiting six months to get a Gatterhorn from a Nightfall. You still have a chance of getting new exotics, but also on top of that, it's not just over encumbered with just exotic engrams and exotics everywhere that you just don't need. I remember when I got um, this US Regime, which I believe was like my third exotic. And I was like ecstatic. I was like, yes, yes, I got this weapon. Uh, I'm like, I can't recreate it right now because I'm not in that moment. But I was excited for it. Now, when I use an exotic engram, I'm like, oh, Zalo Supercell again. You know, I'm just going to dismantle that. And it doesn't have that same, that same worth to me. So I want to be able to earn things in the game, but not have it to the level of like year one of Destiny, where it takes super long to actually get things. So that is my three things of destiny that i don't want to see returning to destiny 2 if any or all of them come back i'm not gonna not play the game or be angry or upset i would just like and prefer a game without these aspects in it to be more enjoyable for me personally but i want to know what you guys think because this is your channel too leave some comments down below the three things that i've mentioned would you want to see them back and why do you agree with me and why and is there anything i've missed that you think shouldn't come back from destiny 2 let me know in the comments section. Hit the like button on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. All that good stuff. Thank you for watching. I believe that you guys have been awesome.